What's up guys? Um, I am in an ayahuasca tent in Peru and today is a very special day because I'm going to do a tutorial. I haven't done one of these before so hopefully you like it. Um, I've been getting some questions on how to make thumbnails for my YouTube videos so I'm going to show you how I do it. I don't know if it's the right way or the best way but it's how I do it and mine turned out okay so hope you guys enjoy it and thanks for watching and Let's check it out. All right, so I already have a photo here. Um, this is me on the top of a sand dune in Huacachina, uh, Peru. And I always try to make a specific photo for my YouTube videos for the cover. Like I, I specifically shoot a picture knowing I'm going to use it. Um, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do or not. It's just what I do. <clears throat> and I think it tends to, to work out better. So here I was like, oh yeah, cool. Let's do a, let's do a selfie on the top of this dune. It'd be a perfect cover photo. And so I have here is a template that I keep. Um, this is one I've, I did on for Bogota. Um, it is 1280 by 720 is what, and I believe that's what um, YouTube suggests for the size um, of the cover photos. So, first thing you do is let's drag this thing over here, and then it's going to be a bit big, really big. That's too big. I don't think. Anybody wants to see my face that big, so let's shrink her down a bit. Um, when I shrink pictures, uh, it's uh, hold down the shift key so that you can keep all your your proportions the same. I'll scoot over a little bit. I always like to overlap it just a tiny bit, just in case, because there's nothing worse when you put in all the effort to make it, and then you post it, and there's like a a little line. Not fun. I want to keep the horizon just a tiny bit, and then there, that looks pretty cool. All right, and I know I'm going to put some lettering back here, so I wanted to leave this kind of open. Um, so let's do some lettering. Let's say Wakachina, and boom. So, and you know, you could just do it like that, but I don't know. I think that's no, it's boring for me. So control T and then hold down the shift key and just make this sucker big. Nice and big. And so what you can do too is you I use these uh these markers, I forget what they're called. Um, but as soon as that thing attaches itself to it, you can move it up and down, and then um, if you hold shift and alt at the same time, it keeps it centered when you shrink it, so you know that's always in the center. Let's make it pretty big. Let's be obnoxious. All right. And then let's move it up just a tiny bit. Oops. Moved it over. Now it's centered. Boom. Cool. All right. So now it's the, the lettering is over my face, and I don't want that. I want, I want my, my, my spectacular mug to be in front. So what I'm going to do is first... Um, I duplicate a layer. I always do that. That way, um, at any given time, if I mess up, I can just revert back to this layer. So I can do whatever I want to this layer. And since it's a type font, it's it's um, vectored, so you can't you can't erase it. So you have to rasterize it. Uh, and after I rasterize it, go and drop the opacity way down so you can really get in there and see what's going on and then zoom in click here to the eraser tool turn off the caps lock and just kind of like go along the edges here and I try to use the actual shape of the brush to help me with the curves um, it tends to help out quite a bit it's less effort for me or for us um, down here behind the hair, get the ear, right, 
weird looking at my face this close, but whatevs. Uh, just go along the hair here. And you don't have to do this, but I like to really get in there and get like every little hair. You don't have to. It's It can be quite painstaking and time consuming, but um, I don't know. I used to be a graphic designer, so I kind of nerd out on that stuff anyway. Go along with this and get the brow a bit. Get a, make my brush a little tiny bit bigger so I'm not taking... Whoa, that's whoa, a bit big. There we go. Get rid of this. And boom, look at that. I've transported to the front of the to the front of the title. Alright, so um, let's see here. Let's put a little drop shadow on it. See how that looks. It's a little dark. Let's Lighten her up a bit, just so it's not, it's more subtle. It's not as like in your face, like subtlety. Okay, cool. So now we have the space here. I'm going to put Peru because that's where I was. I already used that font, so let's use a different one. Let's do, what do I have? I want to do a cursive font. What do I have? What do I have? I know I have one. Where is it? it starts with a B. Ah. Barbershop in Thailand. Cool. Um, maybe let's do 100. That looks good. Not, do I like the white or not? Mm, let's try a different color. Let's do black. No. Oh, you know what? Let's do this color. Yeah, that looks cool. Make it a little tiny bit darker. It's a color that's already in the photo, so it looks cool. Drop the opacity a bit. I think it needs to be darker. Oops. Sorry. Let's make her a little bit darker. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. So we kind of zoom out a bit, so that's what it's going to look like on YouTube as a thumbnail. Um, so now I want to save a Photoshop document of it. Wakachina cover tutorial. Okay. And then flatten it. Flatten the image. Okay. And then save another one as a JPEG so that you can upload it to YouTube because YouTube will not like it if you try to upload a PSD file. So there you have it. Um, now you don't have to have boring uh, cover photos because and to be honest, I really think that the cover photo is important. Um, not everyone shares that with me, but I personally think that a cool cover photo will catch someone's attention and you'll get more views. Does it work? I don't know. But I'm going to pretend that it does. So cool. Well, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments or complaints or suggestions or even ideas or whatever, you want to shoot them at me, leave them there in the, in the bottom there in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys out there. Peace.